Welcome back. Yes, I know, I know. I've been really late with this, and I've just found out that I've been having my... No, that's too loud. Turn it to... That's better. Yeah, anyway, I know I should have been recording this a long time ago, but didn't because I just died there. That's why, obviously, I knew that that was... Yeah, that was me. See? I, I, I predicted this was coming. Could you wondering that? I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll fire off a few shots, attract their attention, and then I'll wait back here for the monster to come and get me. That's what they do. What on earth made me think using a shotgun at that range was a good idea? I haven't the faintest idea, but I obviously found it amusing. And apparently I misread that for a moment, thought it said something else. I don't know what I thought it said because I couldn't hear it properly, but you know. I could turn it up and stuff, but you know, it'd be too much like too much like common sense. Anyway, yes, I'm finally gonna knuckle down and get through at least the rest of this part of the video because I should have to split it into parts because um when I upload them to YouTube. They have to be less than two hours long for me to use the YouTube video editor to trim them down. Which is probably not the best way of doing it, but you know. That's why I tend to be late with a lot of them, is because I don't sit down and go through the YouTube video editor the way I should. This is pretty much turning into a channel update. So you know what? Yeah, sod it. I'll use this one as a channel update. I'll actually title this first video channel update, if I remember. Yeah, I've had a lot going on in the real world. <clears throat> Stuff I've been doing with Pixel Judge has uh, taken up a lot more of my time than it used to. I got to play Saints Row 4 recently, which was great. Yeah, my day off, and my boss calls me the night before, like 11 o'clock, tells me, can, uh, can you, uh, asking me where I live. He already knew where I live, so I don't know why he just felt the need to ask me, but he was asking me where I live anyway. You see, a few days earlier, We've been invited to a, an event in London that night, well, that day, um, to go and have a press thing of Saints Row 4. And to play the demo and hobnob with some of the um, development team and stuff. But we couldn't because he was working and none of the rest of us are in London. The nearest, nearest one was me and there was no way I could have made it down there. I couldn't have afforded it, even at the best of times. But anyway, then the, that night, on Twitter, they, uh, Deep Silver said that they were going to be in Manchester, which is where I live. So he called me up, we arranged it, and I went down there and I got to play Saints Row 4 and hang out with Jim Boone. Ended up talking to him a lot about um, Red Faction. Because he was executive producer on Red Faction. All of them. So yeah, there was me trying to attract their attention again. There's me like, uh oh, wolf is coming to munch me in the face. There we go, being munched by a wolf. But look, I actually succeeded for once. I made it. I survived. Mm. This is where I started getting better at the game or something. But obviously not that much better. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Why? Anyway, yeah, so, uh, yeah, stuff. My, the stuff I'm doing with Pixel Judge is taking up a lot of my time anyway, so I haven't been paying as much attention to YouTube as I probably should have. There, now I thought, you know what, I'll attract their attention again. Run back. And the wolves should come out first this time. Which they did. So, yeah. Okay, there's a channel update I was on. And just talk about stuff about the game. I've said before, but recording a post commentary is actually a lot more difficult than recording it at the time. It's just bizarre. But as you can see, I found what I was doing. I don't know if you can see that, but there was some little bulbs as well. And there was a thought why were the wolves coming after me and not going after the other people as well? Are they like specially trained ninja wolves or something? I don't know, but um, see, having those torches there didn't help them the way I think I thought it would. Because all it did was make it easier for me to see them. Don't know where the enemies are? Shoot the them. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Is this the one where I made it? I'm not sure actually. It's been quite some time now since I last did this. There's evidence that I've got my world in this as well as all the rest of them. Yeah, I figured it's about time I got around and did it because once I've done that then I can start moving on. I have so many other games planned and already pre-recorded in some cases as well. Plus there's um, Splinter Cell Blacklist coming up next month. Should be getting Saints Row 4 next week. Yeah, I love my job. Yeah, I'll be getting it early. Very early. It's not due out until the 23rd of August in the UK. I'm going to be getting it around the 7th or 8th. That'll be awesome. Of course, I'm then going to have to play through it fairly rapidly, which does take the edge off my um, enjoyment of it as such. But you know. The. Um, the word I'm looking for. I was going to say something then. The sacrifices we make. Yeah. I see you there. Shooting you in the face. In the face. Anyone left? Ah, no, I think I got everyone. Yay, did it. I found a campsite as well. Because ah. I'm that awesome. I am awesome. Awesome face. I mean awesome face. I have no idea because I'm talking about things murdering me in the face so now I can have awesome face as well. <laughs> Saying something about Tom then. I guess, I guess there's a tomb in this area. I, I actually don't remember the game all that well anymore which is weird for me. I have a very good memory. I usually remember these things extremely well but today Well, that's them finished talking. That's why I stopped there, is to so I could hear what they were all saying and then murder the peepewers. How many of them are there? I think there are three. Oops, spotted me. Waiting for him to come around that corner. Oh no, it's a wolf. Oh, no, the, the playing me had better awareness of what's going on than the watching. Those gunshots are very loud, aren't they? I might actually turn the volume down on this nickel bit once I've uh, finished recording the, the voiceover. Because otherwise, I noticed on the previous one, you weren't able to hear me properly. So, yeah. Nice. What was nice? Well, something was nice. So anyway, how are you doing? Me, I'm just sat here watching myself playing a game, doing the commentary over the top of it. The sacrifices we make. Something talking something about silence now. I don't know why, but I'm talking about silence. I'm being um, contacted by my boss, who just got back from work, I guess. Oh yeah, suppressors, they don't actually make weapons silent, for those who don't know. That's why calling them a silencer is inaccurate. They they mute the sound and they mostly remove the flash, the muzzle flash of a weapon, that's what we're saying. Suppressors. For those who don't know. That's why they call them suppressors, not silencers. Now it's time for some exploration. That's a lot of what this game is about, is exploration and stuff. Yeah, um, I half remember this. I tried to, I think I tried to get up there to see if there was something up there or something. I tried to jump across or something like that. Alright, see what's up there. Because there's a thing there, isn't there? It looks like a thing you can jump to with the, the climbing hook. So I was like, hmm, what's all this there? But couldn't find a way back up there, so there you see. Moved across to that somehow. Can't remember exactly how I did that, but I'm sure I did manage to get up there. And do something. 
quite a lot in this area actually, I remember that much. A whole lot of stuff. Like mushrooms. Yes, there's a thing for mushrooms. Right. Does that come down? Yes, it does indeed. Yeah, yes. There we go. Now I can climb up there and get some more stuff. You can sort of hear some of my commentary in the background now. Sort of. Nickel bit. What was that? Ah, another one of the GPS things. Reminds me actually, I still haven't gone back and finished this, found all the collectibles and stuff. I just don't have the time like I used to because of the because of what I'm doing with Pixel Judge and um, you know the games I'm playing for that and all the uploading and stuff and I have to keep a close eye on the website most of the time so I don't have the same sort of time to play games that I used to which is a good thing in a way because it, it it keeps me a lot more focused same as doing the um, doing this commenting and stuff it allows me to stay a lot more focused Oh, there we go, I found my way up. I knew I found a way up there somehow, and then I jumped to that just to see what was there. I don't think there is anything though. I think it's just another way to get up or something. Is there something behind that? No. I thought there was something behind the waterfall. Let's see. I've had that both times, so that's what we can't do then. So, yeah, as I was saying, anyway, um, the Let's Playing and the, the Pixel Judge stuff has actually helped out my gaming quite a lot because for a while I got into that sort of frame of mind where I didn't know what to play. That's the problem with having so many games, you just don't know which one to start with. I have so many unfinished. Some that I still haven't started. In fact, in a lot of cases, I'm saving them now so that I can record them as I go so I can have as many blind playthroughs as possible. I just find it more interesting doing a blind one because you get my raw reactions that way. It's like I said in one of the previous um, uh, I'd make on previous post recordings that whilst I was playing this I started making predictions about stuff that was coming up and I was spot on with most of them so <clears throat> made it just made it more interesting for me that way to, you know because anybody anybody listening in and anybody watching it after the fact would have been able to carry along with me and see how good I am at picking things up like that because I um, I credit myself with being rather astute at that kind of thing. It's something that I greatly enjoy doing, is trying to figure out what's going on, especially stuff with, uh, especially when it's like a mystery and stuff like that. Or when they're, you know, and they're foreshadowing and that kind of thing. Foreshadowing. I like me foreshadowing, I does. I like me foreshadowing, I does. What's this? Oh, hello. Ooh, that's This Chinese is extremely old. Dad had a similar one in his collection, dating from 854 BC. That's old. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, I, I want one of them. I, 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 I want a collection of daggers and stuff. I, uh, I used to have a sword, actually. A uh, sword and a couple of daggers. And, uh, because my ex was a muppet, he decided to threaten a police officer with them. It was, um, uh, they were impounded, so I don't have them anymore. I was gutted. I absolutely love that sword. Oh, well. Never mind. So what else is in this area? More stuffs? I have to um, turn off the, the flame first, of course. Pull that down, or is that? No, it's one of those things that you connect to I guess. There we go, there's one there. Wait, is that one? Is that what I think it is? No, maybe not. Uh, what else is in this area other than stuff? Why is it on flame arrows again? I just turned them off. I mean you saw I just turned them off. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Big tree. Big broken tree. This is a great looking game, you know. I mean, it's not the best game I've ever seen, but it is a great looking game. And that Tress FX is superb. Um, uh, proprietary software, I think they call it. 
like AMD, it's one of the things I like about AMD. They've made their Tress FX and they made it work with any graphics card. It's awesome. So what else is in this area then? I spent, a f like I said, I spent a fair bit of time in here. Made sure I found as much as possible. I can't, by this point I'd gotten caught up in the game and I was exploring more. Uh, I try not to, to do this too much because um, it can be you know kind of boring for people watching but sometimes you just get so caught up in, the, in what's going on that you just stop caring. And I'm sure anybody watching as well they'll want to see what's going on. They don't, you don't want to see me just rush straight through it do you? Or maybe you do, I don't know, some people are like that. There we go. That was the one I was trying to get to a moment ago, but the question is, what good did that do? Is that just like a sh sharp put down or something? Looks that way. No, then, what's up there? Ah, there's a thingy above there. And another one. Let me go down. Oh, there's another G. No, is it a G power? No, it's not. It's another item. What's this one then? Ooh. An ancient Chinese dagger, probably around 100 AD. So how oh, long have ships been crashing on this island? That is numb. And I don't mean in the sense that I want to eat it. I mean it's numb in the sense of it's that is gorgeous. It's so good you could eat it. Nom 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 nom. Of course, eating it would be a bad idea because it kind of murder you. Oh. So, yeah, sorry about that. I'm, I'm typing away as well. Some more uh, salvage. Still not quite a collection of it by this point. Mm. Go for a little dip in the water. Because Lara needs to wash her trousers or something. I don't know, because all well, the time she's been crawling around in the mud and being attacked by wolves and stuff, she needs to clean her trousers. Yeah. There's the, the campsite that I discovered. Oh, a book. Storm Guard Warriors. Today, we stand on the brink of a great change. The enemy fleet that sails Japan. our shores will be the last to ever attempt an invasion of our beloved Yamatai. The rays of our great Sun Queen will raise up a mighty storm, and we will ride forth upon oh, the winds to destroy them. But when we emerge victorious, we will not stop. A new day will dawn as our Queen's light will reach across the ocean to touch all lands. While we of Yamatai bask in the warmth of our yeah. race, those who oppose Sorry us to tell you this, mate, but that never happened. It didn't quite. Okay. <laughs> fish, fish. Om nom nom. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but I could. I <laughs> commented on the fact that the fish were there. I was like, om nom nom. I like fish actually, I might have fish for my dinner tonight. I got some um, Admiral's pies from the shop. Tempted to have one of them. I also have some chops, some pork chops in the fridge, defrosting. So I don't know, I could have both I suppose. Hmm, what do you think? No, I can't do the pork chops now, it's too late in the day. It takes like three hours to prepare them and it's, it's already half past six. So I'll probably have the fish fishy. Fish fish, fish fish, fish fish fish. Nom 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 I have fish. Oh, and I have some, I have some beans and sausage. Yeah, you get the very best commentary when you come listening to me, don't you? You get to hear me talking about random nonsense and me telling you what I'm going to have for my dinner. Well, I'm also drinking a cup of tea now, so... What the hell was that? I just heard the sound of... A swoop bike from Thingamabob. Um, Seriously, what happened then? Yeah. 
Oh, right, yes. That was why MSM Messenger was still working. I had custom sounds on it, which included swoop bike noises for, um, I think it was when people logged in. Swoop bike noises from Jedi Academy. And that's what you just heard then. And it minimized the game, but it kept recording, which is pretty cool, actually, because normally when uh, a game is minimized, fraps stopped recording. I've had that happen before, but... So, yeah, they're going to do another tomb here. Which one was this? Oh, there's a watchamajig there, not a campsite, but there's always a campsite outside tombs, so... Which one was this? I don't remember this now. Is this, this is one of the side tombs, though, I think. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'm just having a look around, trying to figure out what was going on. Because there's a... Uh, wait, is this the one with the... big explosions and stuff? I think this is the one where I have to explode things. Yeah, yeah, this one was... this one was pretty damn cool. See, make explosions over there. Boom! Some of those, when you do that, the explosion stuff, the um, the gas is still there. I think we may already have seen that. Oh, there we go. It's still there. <laughs> Oh, well, that didn't go according to plan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. A bit late now, but, you know. But, obviously, you have to get through there somehow, so... Move, move, Cooey. Get up. Go on. Whilst there's no, whilst there's no s smoke. Get away. Get away. Can you get away? Yeah, I made it. What's down there, then? Oh, that was clever, yeah. I want myself to smear the reins. That was... That's probably not the best thing. It, 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 yeah. That's probably just... Yeah. You know. I will... You know. Light that up at least. So you can see, right. 587. Upgrade some stuff with that. If I'm not mistaken. Which I am allowed to do. No, nope, can't upgrade. Oh, there we go. Silencer. Or suppressor, as we were saying earlier. They are useful. Kaboom! Go on, stop. Thank, thank you. It's all burning and stuff. Right, there we go. Made it this time. Now then, there's a thingy bob over there, you see? What's that do? Remind me. Do I have to jump to that? Or do I have to? Get a thingy bob onto it. Because there's all sorts of stuff around here. <sighs> yeah, ah, there we go. I found it. I couldn't see that. Everything's black. Huh, makes me wonder how are you going to see it? Because I can't see what's going on. Obviously, I could whilst I was playing it, but the hell? There's nothing there. going on? I'd, I'd tell you what was happening if I if I could see anything. Obviously there's something climbing up. Oh, that was clever. Oh, I just fell off and went splat. So, yeah, that probably wasn't the best thing I could have done. I'm saying that a lot at the moment. I'm really running out of steam here, aren't I? I mean, I want to get this done and I'm all geared up to do it and everything. I just don't really know what to say with myself. This whole post-commentary thing is really difficult. Oh, what's that? Those are those things, yeah, I have to light them and then um, swing them back and forth, was it? I think that's what I did. So I'm just trying to puzzle it out now. Trying to figure out what, what to do. Shoot that thing. Aha, there we go, that one's lit. Now, can I light the rest of them? Because obviously each time I, I light one of those, it'll, be, it'll allow me to see the area easier as well, so... Is it a case of... There we go, I knew it was something like that. Pull that one there. And that one will go... No, it didn't work. What was that noise? I was trying to get that to um, swing up to light that one as well, so I'll get them in a kind of uh, an arc, you know? 
Alright, now then, let's hit that. I'll have to see around a little bit more at least. Oh yeah, there's another one up there. Ah. That one barely moves though. It's really short. So, is that just to allow me to see better, do you think? Probably. It's lit now anyway. Yeah, it's definitely easier to see. That's for sure. That's for true. I think I've sussed it now, you know. Yeah, right on it. Like that one. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. So, what else though? Pull that one over this way? What's that do? No. Is there one up there as well? No, there's a, a passageway up there or something, isn't there? <coughs> What's that? Ah! Ah! See, stuff you can burn. Right. That's just the area I was up at a moment ago where I couldn't see anything. Now you can see stuff if you climb up the top. Well, that up again just for the sheer hell of it. I'm blowing stuff up. Because explosions are always fun. Ah, and there's another thing in the box. Ah. Right. Is that the tomb finished? You know what? I think that's the end of the tomb. Yeah, that was the end of the tomb. Fair enough. That was a really short one. Quite simple, actually. So what was in this one? Hey, what are you going to get this time, Lara, my love? That's what I said that time as well. Great minds think alike. Then again, it's not great minds, because it's me. Tomb Raided. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that reminds me, actually. I now own all of the Tomb Raider games on Steam. All of them. I, um, I picked them up for myself during the Steam Summer Sale. I spent a lot of money during the Summer Sale. I actually ended up cancelling the direct debits for both my... Um, mobile and landline so that I have money spare. <laughs> I don't know, I'm paying for it now because I had to pay them this week instead. The Steam Summer Sale only recently ended by the way, it was ended the week before last. So now th this week I've had to pay for my phone bill and everything. And <laughs> it's, um, it's left me a bit short. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but I was saying it by this point, the game had turned out to be very much a mixed bag. There were a lot of things that I like about it, and some things that I really don't like so much. <sighs> it's just... I've mentioned that previously. But, you know, just, I, I can't make up my mind. I do like the game, but the fact that they were doing the whole, you know, they, they really do lay it on really thick. And I mean really thick. It's just... Yeah, I know it's by the, at this stage, it's not too bad. But as it moves along, it it becomes. I'll come to that when I reach it. There's one of those pred uh, predictions I was talking about. Is where it starts to, you know, you know, and I said that I predicted something that was coming, and then it turned out to be bang on the money. I'll comment on that when I actually reach the appropriate moment. But uh, let's just say it's it's another one of those more characters die. Let's put it that way. You really should have figured that out by now. It's like she meets one of them, the character dies, then that's pretty much it. Every single one of the characters she meets ends up dying in some way. At least that's how it seems. Wolves. Like the ones in the forest. Are they breeding them? That actually would make a lot of sense if they are. 
So that would explain why they attack me and not them. You know, familiar and stuff. Familiar scent and all that stuff. But hey! Easy EXP. Oh yeah, look at that, I'm hitting the bars. How do you how do you do something like that? Look at the size of it. It should ricochet off. But uh, I, I feel kind of guilty for doing that, but at the same time, they were trying to munch me in the face and murder me to death. And they shouldn't be stuck in it. What's that? Ah. Hello. Oh right, I see. I thought I thought that was some kind of unused um, thingy, my bub. See, now it means that. I thought. Perhaps it was um, some kind of unused uh, item to distract the war bulls, get them jumping up at it or something. But no, that was quite crafty, actually. Crafty indeed. She has a nice attention to detail. See, now things like that, that, that's the sort of stuff that I like about the game. The salvaging I really like as well, and the hunting I thought was a great idea, just wasn't used. It's like they made a really big deal out of it at the beginning. It should have been in there a lot more. And it should have actually had you needing to go hunting to survive, you know? Like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of a contemporary. Are there any other games that have done stuff like that? I don't think there are, to be honest. But they should have been, they should have made use of it to do something like that. That would have been really cool. Oh, she's falling again. She does a lot of that, does Lara. I'm sure there's some kind of subtle symbolism in there or some something or other, I don't know. I'm, I'm too blurgen Durgan to worry about it at the moment. Oh, going spelunking again. Going down and doing some more cave diving. Do you think they'll make another one of these? I know that they're hoping to. But um, with the way Squeenix have been going lately, they've been having a lot of problems, Squeenix. Uh, I mean, they consider this to be a financial failure. They, 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 it, it sold poorly, even though it sold something like 4 million units. What kind of world do we live in where you sell 4 million of something and consider it a failure? Seriously. It just makes no sense to me. I, I mean, I know that Call of Duty sells like 12, 18, 20 million a year, but th that's an aberration. I don't mean uh, Call of Duty is an aberration. I mean those kinds of sales. Most games don't sell anywhere near that amount. And you get others like Crisis sold at two million and was a huge success. But then you get this selling four million and it's considered a failure. How does that make any sense? It makes you wonder how much money they must have pumped into it for them to not make a profit on four million uh, four million sales. Because I mean, they've made four million sales even on a very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a very modest estimate. That's still 40 million dollars. Easy. You must have made at least 40 million dollars. And... Are you there, Lara? Alex, I've been trying to reach you all morning. We just got to the beach. I like Alex. Looks in pretty bad shape. Without the right tools, we might That's have trouble cool. getting it up and running. Could sure use your help down here. See what you can yeah, do. guess where we're going I'm now. My way. Watch yourself out there. Ah, back here again, but now things are on fire. Hmm. That's where I was earlier. See? And met Roth, and he passed out, and then had to go and um, climb up and get his bag. There's that place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Isn't it? Actually, I don't know, is it? It looks like it. No, no, that was where I saw um, the, the captain guy, Griff. Yeah. That's the chappy. So I'm on the other side of it all now, because I remember commenting whilst I was there that I could see things that I couldn't reach, and I'd probably come to them later, at least I think I did. Well, I remember doing that, whether I actually did or not. It's just, you know. So, yeah. But, funny, that Griff, that's what I was talking about earlier. You meet him, and then he has the dramatic death, and then there was the one with Ross, and then I punched my mic because stuff. <laughs> yeah, bitch slap. Bitch slap the mic, here you go. There you go, that's what you just heard of me slapping the mic. 
which I just did. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to make it down there, Cooey. Please tell me I didn't try. Come on. No, I didn't. I'm not that stupid. That would have been very silly. Very silly indeed. Where's my drink gone? I had a drink here a moment ago. There it is. Oh, it's getting really hot. Mm. Temperature's gone back up again. It cooled down for a few hours and now it's gone back up and I'm sweating like... You don't want to know what I'm sweating like. Right, there we go, found the way now. Oh, I remember this. This was, um... Intense, shall we say. It's actually one of the better set pieces as well. That's the problem I think I have. The largest problem I have with the game is the reliance on set pieces. I've never been a big fan of set pieces in games. And this is one of them that does set pieces in games, so... You know. Why is my mic so quiet again? It seems to be going up and down all over the place. I don't know why. Oops, that was clever. I just dropped dead. Splatticus. Splatticus, 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 Splat, 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 Splat. I, I don't know. Please tell me this isn't too quiet. Oh, it is as well. Right, well, hopefully you've been able to hear all of that at least, because I had the volume turned way down low. At least not down as low as it was when I first recorded this. Piffle. Oh, well. I'm not doing it again. I've recorded another 35 minutes of this. So if you've missed any of it, didums. The, the, the bit I'll repeat at least is I remember this now. This was one of the... This, uh, game is very much a mixed bag for me. There are a lot of things I dislike and there are a lot of things I do like. And this was one of the things that I kind of like and dislike yeah. at the same time. There? Set pieces. Down. Not a big fan of set pieces. I need to tell you something. What's going on? I don't think we can leave this island. Something is keeping us here. I have to go back to the monastery. Are you Monastery. Sure? Yes, Sam. I need you to keep this to Why? yourself for now. I'm going to help Reyes fix that boat. Her then lips aren't moving. Laura, well, I don't know about this. Just trust. Yeah, she's speaking through me. telepathy or something. All right. You be careful. But yeah, this is a pretty impressive set piece, actually. I mean, it's not. Let's see. I'm not a huge fan of set pieces, but they can be good. And I think that's one of the main problems I have with this is its reliance on set pieces, which obviously set pieces when done well can be great, but overall they're it's a set piece. I I like more fluidity in what I'm playing. You know? Maybe that's just me. Yeah. Look to your left, Cooey. There's a thing down there. Just get your arrows out. Get your arrows out. There we go. Now you're getting it. Took you long enough. Then again, I was kind of looking around and taking in the scenery and stuff, because that is some very, very purdy scenery in the background. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying that there as well. Very impressive environments. Very impressive indeed. Most impressive. Where to now? Um, oh, hello. Ah, ammunition. Right, uh... Was I just going to shoot... Ah, there we go. There's a ladder thing I can climb up. Was I just about to shoot one of the boxes of ammunition with an arrow? Feels like the kind of thing I'd do, to be fair. Up, up and away! So, anyway, what does everybody think? Will they make a sequel to this game? Kind of hope they do, but kind of don't at the same time. I'd like to see that. I'd actually like to see them go back to the way it was. To be perfectly honest, less of an action focus, more of an exploration focus, more, more puzzle solving. Puzzles in games these days are really lacking. I, mean, I want to go back to the days when we had puzzles that would actually confuse the crap out of you, and you'd have no way of figuring out what the hell to do, and you'd just get it through sheer blind luck in the end. 
But they want to make the games more accessible, more approachable, so it's easier to for anybody to play. And I get that. I mean, you want to make the game successful. You want to get throw in the audiences, but there are still a lot of people who want things to be more challenging. And I get that not everybody does. I do understand that. But it's like, why should they always be the ones that are catered to? Why is it always the lowest common denominator? Why is there never anything for us? I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'm making to more, reading more into this than I should be. Maybe I'm being unrealistic. Maybe the games, maybe it's just nostalgia coloring my interpretation. But I doubt that. There's so many people thinking the same thing. I mean, even some of the more, um, for lack of a better term, let's be honest, even the trolls generally agree that older games are more difficult, more challenging, and more rewarding because of it. But these days it's all you get your floating icons and your um, survival instincts and you know, your, um, what do they call them, QTEs, quick time events. We have Shenmue to thank for that, which is a damn shame because Shenmue did them extremely well in just about every game ever since has messed them up. It's not done them well at all. Oh, there we go. This is where the set piece kicks in. See, now, this is, this is the kind of thing. It looks it looks visually impressive, but it lacks the same sort of... Kill my brothers. I don't know. It lacks some of the, uh, the tension of more dynamic games. Because this isn't dynamic. It's pre-scripted. And... The problem is, most people like that, so again, there we go, the lowest common denominator. It's, it's, they're, um, um, they're catering this more to the kind of people who want to go and watch films like Avatar and um, other films with fancy special effects. What about the people who want a more dynamic experience? What about people who want something that focuses more on the narrative? Something that focuses more on the experience as a whole rather than just, ooh, look, pretty shiny lights. They seem to think everybody has ADHD or something. I don't know. Seriously? See, that's what I mean. That reminds me of the Ishimura from um, Dead Space. There we go, they're playing it on more again. She's been battered to death. They really go ridiculously OTT with all of this. I mean, she should have, like, perforated lungs by now. She should have a ruptured spleen. A lung, a, a, like, her, um, um, her, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Her, um, her kidneys should be coming out of her ears and her brain should be liquefied and falling out of her armpits and all sorts of stuff. It, it's, oh, it's, it's stupid. I mean, it, I get there's the whole, you know, you'd be amazed what you can actually survive, but this is ridiculous. I think they're playing on that as a, trying to justify what they're doing. And then there's the whole slow-mo stuff, and like, I know from a gameplay perspective it's easier to do. If they were doing it in full speed, you wouldn't be able to, to do it all properly. It's like, but why put you in environments like this in the first place? Because in the real world, it doesn't happen that way. Uh, yeah, I'm one of them. I like, I want my games to be more realistic. I want realism and stuff. It's probably why I was such a uh, fan of the idea of the hunting and having you have to go in and actually get food would have been nice to see them do it whether you had to actually go and get real food and actually do it to survive Something tells me the others found yeah probably how very ironic nice bit of satire there mm. see that's the thing it's it's one of those that's trying to be all self-aware and it comes across as kind of ham-fisted and pretentious for lack of a better term. It's trying to be something it isn't. It thinks it's a lot more intelligent than it really is and you get that a lot these days. So it still it looks great and overall it's still a damn good game. I did enjoy it. Uh, just not as much as I could have. <gasps> Yay the beach! Made it. It's a very big boat. No. Down at the Where beach, that's what they said. Splash. 
Splat. Ruptured spleen. Hmm. That thing comes in useful in a nickel bit later. Use that for some stuff. I remember doing things with that. Get you out of the way, yo. What are you doing? Say that to my cats. What are you doing? My cat has kittens at the moment, actually. Is she there? No, nope, she's not there, so I'm going to steal one of the kittens and maybe they'll start talking to us. Let go, you silly little mug. They've opened their eyes and everything. And they're all little fluffy, little fluffy beasts. Yes, they are. Like, we are the fluffiest kittens of all the kitten faces. We have faces of kittens. Are you going to say anything? No? Are you going to talk for the peoples? No, too busy wriggling trying to get out of my hand. And then as soon as I try to put them down, they're like, No, don't let go of me. I don't want to fall. Make up your mind. Which one is it? What about you? You going to talk? Your brother didn't seem to want to say anything. But what about you, hey? White, uh, white neck. No? This one's more relaxed. Sort of laying there in my um, in my hand, all relaxed. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. There's the mother saying, "Hey, put my kids down. I want to give them milk and give them big fat bloaty bellies and make them big fat bloaties. So they're big fat and bloaty. Yes, you like the cats to be big fat and bloaty, don't you? You want them to grow into humongous beasts that will take over the world and do things that overthrow governments and." Yeah, I have no idea what I'm talking about either. Don't worry about it, you're not the only one. Yeah, still trying to figure out what they do, aren't you, Kiwi? Well, we'll figure it out later. You'll get it. Do some time for some more exploring. Look at the size of that ship. I tried to get over there and explore it, but spoilers, you can't. Can't explore. You can go on a nickel bit of it, I think. But you can't really go and fully explore it. And, um, yeah. Quite a large environment, though. You do get to go over there, though, in a nickel bit. Well, I was just looking then. You do go, you get to go and explore that ship. That's the one you came in on, actually. The Endurance. You go back there. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm jumping ahead of the plot. Terracotta pot. I'm ju jumping ahead of the terracotta pot. I have no idea what that means. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. I just say this stuff. I'm not supposed to know what it means. You're supposed to fathom it out. That's what you're here for. This is why I upload it to YouTube. I hope that somewhere in there somebody will make sense of the gibberish I spout. The gibberish I spew. I vomit forth. Oh, hello. Is that a thing you've up? No, it's just a watch me do. I thought it was a thingy above um, um, dead. Uh, a bird's nest. Because there was that thing with the eggs, but that was in an earlier section, wasn't it? What was it? It was in an earlier section, but I think. Uh, I think it might have been one in this, in some other areas as well. I don't know. Do you get more of them? <clears throat> there are all sorts. There are a hell of a lot of different things. There's one for oranges, there's the one for the mushrooms, there's the one for the, um, the Buddhas, thingy my bobs. Uh, what are they called? They're yeah, lighting the Buddha temples. Oh no, the GPS. Global positioning satellite. Oh, rifle parts. Ooh, yeah. Did I fully upgrade all the weapons? I think I fully upgraded the pistol. Um, I'm not sure if I up fully upgraded the rest of them. I'm fairly certain I upgraded the pistol and the bow. So the, a lot of the bow upgrades, well, some of the bow upgrades are actually plot related. <coughs> hey, bull! Just ran away. And I found another tomb, which you can't get into yet. Because, see, it's there. You're like, hmm, should be able to pull that down, but it's stone. You get an item later on. You get an item that later on that helps you do that. So me was thinking, hmm, maybe blow it up. But, no, can't because of the thingy bob. See? I thought maybe I could blow it up, but obviously these the the rat wrote the oh, be we should have made it obvious it was something else. Ah, here we go. I've been waiting for this. For some reason, I got really excited about there being crabs. No idea why, but I got really excited about there being a crab there, so I killed it. I got a big bag of crabs here. I'm gonna put them in my mouth. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
Uh, it's just... It's Weeble. For those who don't know, it's Weeble. Go Google it or something. <clears throat> uh, also, maybe I was thinking head crabs. You know, because of Half-Life and stuff. Which I also need to finish uploading, don't I? Yeah, I'm supposed to be uploading that alongside this, but I've been very tardy with both of them. Also, I have back really good, you know? Uh, why am I so yawny? It's probably the weather. It's really, um... <clears throat> it's really, uh, uh, it's really warm here, murdering me to death, and stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, don't know. I completely lost my train of thought there. Oh, more shotgun parts. Cool. This is should be... Jeez, pardon me. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I've been quite lively today, actually, and now suddenly I'm all like... Oh, there's a rope up there, if you see. Look. But, if you see, you can't reach it, <clears throat> which suggests, exactly, which, yeah, is exactly what it suggests, you go up there later. Come here, yo, I'll beat you to death. Come back. No, I will murder you in the face. Stop escaping from me, you. My aim sucks, so I will murder you with up the bum. Shut it up, the bum. Yeah, I did hit it. I hit it three times. I punched it and then hit it with two arrows. <laughs> Look at that. Chasing after a pig. Shoot you. So I shot it. In the bum. With a gun. Shoot you. Why? No idea. It just kind of felt like it. So I'm back at the tomb again. Yeah, we can't reach that. Stop trying, Kui. You're not going to be able to reach it. Come on. You know you're not going to be able to reach it. Why are you going over there? Because you're the Kui because you, you can't help but try. It is a thing, you. Uh, it's one of those that... Um, with the planks of wood, you'd be able to jump up there easily. It's another problem I have with this. It was one of the things I liked about the original game, is if it was broken, you climbed up to areas that you weren't supposed to be able to climb up to. It's like, well, oh well, you climbed up to an area you weren't supposed to be able to climb up to. Kind of your own fault, really, wasn't it? You get stuck up there, and there you go, you're stuck up there. <clears throat> but no. Now it's all, you know, can't have you doing that. Cannot allow you to do that. You must. <sighs> you must go down this linear path that we have scripted for you. This route we have planned out in your favor, which in itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because there are other games that have done stuff like that. And um, Portal has a pre-planned linear path, and you have to solve the puzzles in very specific ways. But it's a great game. So, it's not like it's in inherently a bad thing. It's just the way it's handled. It's, you know, it, it, the, the problem I have is when you get a game that tells you you have all this freedom and all this openness, and then once you get there, you, you really just don't. You know? You know what I mean? I think, I think you know what I mean. I know what I mean, anyway. Even if you don't know what I mean, I know what I mean. And that's what matters. Because I'm me, and you are not me. And it's not like you're here expecting me to make sense or anything. That would be too much like common sense. If I made sense, that would make sense. We're not allowed to make sense because this is my world. This is where I do things. This is where I make the rules. Where I shoot crabs in the face. Hmm. Look, crabs. Crabs. Trying to escape from me. Crabs, 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 crabs. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw earlier when I was up on the thing, but there's actually a, a GPS cache on top of that. Uh, you can get to it, and there's me just trying to figure out how, because you can't jump properly when you're in the water. So I was like, hmm, how do I do this? What are you doing, Mog? She's like, I'm being a cat. What's it look like? And I'm like, it looks like you are jumping out of your box. She's like, well, I am jumping out of my, uh, my box. Now feed me. 
yes, you want to be fed, don't you? You want me to give you food? He's like, yes, give me food, human. Give me food. Ah, look, birds. Flying in place. So, you know what that means. Shoot you! Oh, I missed it! How did- Seriously, Kui, how did you miss that? You suck! I know that's me, but I suck! Yeah, go on! Now, did I drop it- Did it die in an area where I could actually reach it, or- Oh, there it is. Is it a seagull? Yeah, it's a seagull. Or a black-headed gull, actually. And another crab. Look at that flat water texture. Isn't it- Isn't it delicious? It's pretty nice, but, you know. So, it is a flat texture. Uh, no, you're not going to make that. Come on, Kiwi. I don't have Fanny around when I'm playing these games. So I just wander off all over the place and do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. No, you're not going to be able to climb up on the rock. Seriously? Why, did I, why do I do things like this? I know that it's not going to work, but I do it anyway because... See? It's not going to work. You know it's not going to work. Jump on the big one, you pillock. Big one over there. Not over there. Giant anchor, that. Yeah, giant anchor. Try and jump on that one. See? You're not going to make it. Was it? Do something with that boat. You know you can. You see, it has the thing there. Do something with that boat. No, don't shoot it. That's it. Pull it. Can you hear that? They're trying to start the boat over there. <clears throat> Our boat. The one we're going to try and escape on, that is. I was like, hmm. I finally picked up on it there. I was like, what is that? But I didn't want to go and look because so I thought it might be something to try and kill me because I'm a pillock. Oh, something like that. Uh. Pull it a bit more. If you can. Go on, Kiwi. Pull it over. There you go. That's what you wanted to do, isn't it? You're like, no, it's gone too far now. Oh, let me climb up. Let me on it. Well, oh, let me on it. Oh, no. Then you figure, hmm, maybe I can jump to it. Hmm, yes, I jumped. That's awesome. Now I can jump. But you're not going to make it from there, Kiwi. Come on, you should know that by now. Seriously? Come on. See, now you're getting it. Now you've figured it out. Finally. <laughs> That was the, the original recording, by the way, not the recording now. So now you get it. See, there you go. You knew you'd get it in the end. Why am I being so critical of myself? Why am I... Why am I sassing myself so much? Seriously. Maybe it's because reasons? Yeah, probably because reasons. What? Seriously? Cooey, what are you doing? Pull it around the other way. Oh, fine. You have to be awkward, don't you? It's not going to fit through the rocks. Well, it might, but not easily. See, it's stuck on the rocks, you great wazzock. No, it won't come with you. See, you needed to go round the other way, you pillock. But seriously, I'm still trying to do it this way. See, it's not going to work. Anybody with a brain could tell you that, but no, you have to go and do it your own way, don't you? You have to go and be Pilicus Mosticus, Pilicus Maximus. Pilic is um, English slang for somebody who's a bit thick, by the way. Somebody who does silly things. I, like, for those who are familiar with Only Fools and Horses, the British television show Plonker. Pilic is like Plonker. It's a northern version of Plonker. Because I'm not southern, me. I'm northern. I'm from north. I am from the north of England. I am from Manchester. I am from... Come on, Kiwi. Did you really think that was going to work? Did you? Then you're a wazzock. Yeah, there we go. It took a hell of a lot longer than it needed to, though, because some plonker decided to go around the wrong way. What, what, see, what does she actually do there? She just opens it up and then tins... Uh, pardon me. And then tins go flying everywhere. What the hell? If she was looking for food, that'd be useless. Absolutely useless. No, you can't blow that up. You can try anyway, aren't you? Are you? Nope. Fine. I don't know what I was trying to do then, but apparently something was going wrong with it. Can't get up there. 
no, you, you, could, you can see easily that you cannot go up there. Have to try it again though, look, see? Have to try again just because I'm me. How do you people put up with this stuff? Because I do, I'm just stupid. Seriously, watching back through my own stuff like this is eye-opening. I'm going to have to be more self-aware. Like a computer. Or something. Like, a, like an AI system. Not like the film, though. I haven't seen the film, so I don't know anything about it. <clears throat> but I'm going to have to be more aware of what I'm doing. More aware of my surroundings. More aware of my own face. Um, why would I need to be more aware of my own face? I'm always aware of my face. It's it's on my head. I mean, it's part of my body. My face is my face. Alright. Anyway, went for a nice waddle paddle through... Oh, found a GPS as well. Went for a nice waddle paddle through... Oh, no, seriously, I'm not going to try and jump up there again, am I? Ugh. I am as well. There we go. That was clever. Because reasons. No, you, come on. Alright, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> right. Big steel cable. Rusted steel cable. Well, can steel rust? Uh, why am I going back there again? What am I doing? What? Did, did my... I, I, never mind Lara's brain being beaten, beaten to pulp and leaking out of her nostrils. I think that's what happened to mine whilst I was playing this ruddy game. Maybe it's maybe it's because they were laying it on so thick I had like, this sympathetic ache in my skull from, you know, the lack of intelligence from everything that was going on and the complete rapidity of all the people around her. Uh, gone like wrath. It's just like, what the hell was that all about? I mean, what you do in a situation like that? He still had his gun. You don't just go, I'm gonna die. You push her out of the bloody way. Yeah, it might hurt her when she falls over, but her falling over and hurting her head is a lot better than her falling over dead because she's been shot in the face. Really can't get over that. That was the point at which I started, really started to have problems with this game. There we go. Those are the peoples. That was. A horrible grammar, by the way. There are people. Whoa. There is one, there are two. So there are the peoples. He's a big lad. <laughs> Why do they make Maori dudes so massive? They tend to be quite short and stocky, actually. <clears throat> Foreshadowing! This is the bit I was talking about. <clears throat> We've got to try. I'm glad you decided to join us, Lara. What can you do to help? Help Jonah. <laughs> Not working. You'd be able to lift him more smoothly with some kind of block and tackle. You're right. We should be able to fashion one from some But there might be someone that rigging we can use. I'll check it out. Be careful, Lara. Mm. There we go. I can go wandering around on that at least. And listen to them having a, a chin wag. Oh, if I remember correctly. You think those things will still fire? Let's see. They need a bit of cleaning, but yeah, they'll work. Hopefully we won't need to use them. Yep. Lara's not the only one who can. Watch it, Sam. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 it's all right. Just take it easy. And don't touch anything. Sexism. Bet you there's be somebody screaming that. It's about the fact that the protagonist is. In fact, I know people who have complained about this game as being sexist, even though the, the female lead is. You know, she's female because, you know. Ugh, thank God there aren't any mirrors around here. I must look awful. <laughs> Probably not as bad as me, Sam. 
Oh, come on, you're both beautiful. <laughs> Aunt Jonah, you're sweet. But a terrible liar. No, he's not Can't lying. Get out of here, Laura. I don't feel safe in this place. Don't worry. We'll get home. Somehow. Doesn't Jonah need something from that old sailboat out there? Probably the car. Hint, hint. This one's beat up, <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I can get it working. Hey, Lara, look. Thanks for getting us out of that. Anytime. <clears throat> you do the same for me, right? Yeah. Doesn't sure. sound too, um... Why are you still here? We need that block and tackle, Lara. She doesn't sound too confident there, does she? Hmm. Why didn't I go in? Wait, I opened that a minute ago, didn't I? Why, why aren't you picking it up, Cooey? Hello? There's a thing on the desk. Why, why did I do that? Pass. Something I haven't felt. I, I do really childhood. weird things when playing games. When my father would go insane with rage. I would hide with my brother, and he would tell me the tale of Pania. I've heard of that. I remember feeling heard that the ocean tale. calling to me. I wanted to escape, to give myself to the silent sea. And now, as I look at the reefs surrounding this beach, I feel that urge again. I see Pania's green seaweed hair woven among the wreckage. I feel her tears and the spray of the waves lashing upon the rocks. Lara is right. This island is cursed. There is a rage here that will never let us go. If the worst happens and I'm the last one standing, I will let Pania take me. I will swim away and <coughs> join my brother in the waves. Right, I think that is a reference to an old um, New Zealand myth about a warrior that went into the water and died and then was revived or something. Uh, I'm very shaky on the particulars, but I I understand that it has some parallels with King Arthur. You know, the the, the sword from the Lady in the Lake and all that stuff. Although told in a, a different way, you know, uh, with a regional flavour. Ralph, I know you want me to ease off Lara, but I'm hard on her for a reason. This big, expensive ship and all its people are heading into uncharted, dangerous waters based on her theories. Lara needs to understand the weight of that responsibility. I know it was your call, but sometimes I think you forget that she isn't actually your daughter. No one else could get away with steering the Endurance into the Dragon's Triangle without at least some hard evidence. So you tell me, what convinced you? Definitely. She's smart, I'll give her that. And I admit the expedition has potential. But big ideas and grand plans will only get us so far. You know as well as I do, nothing like Someone this ever Someone has green eyes. Lara's green. If the shit hits the fan and she screws up, someone's gonna get hurt. Maybe it'll all play out fine. But until we're sailing home safe and sound with a pile of riches, I'm not giving uh -huh. that girl any slack. Kind of obvious that, isn't it? But here's the thing that I've, I kept wondering about this. When did they take the time to write these diaries? How did they take the time to write these diary entries? Why are they scattered all over the place like this? Now, I can understand things like the um, the cultists and stuff like that, but why are diaries from crew members left scattered around in weird areas? Why would you have them in caves and things like that? They, they could have thought about this a little bit better and had um, only had stuff from the crew from the Endurance only turn up in areas where the Endurance crew had actually been, perhaps? I mean, where, not only where they'd actually been, but in places where they'd logically be able to actually write some things. Like, it wasn't one of them in a cave where they'd been held captive. It's like, so where the hell did they get the pen and paper to write whilst they were um, being held in a cage? Seriously? Now that one at least makes some some degree of sense. It's where they've, they've rested, they've set up their own little camp and stuff. And yeah, I'm going on, off on an exploration again, so... Not gonna work. Nope. Damn, it's not gonna stop me yet. trying again, now I bet you. I know what I'm like. So I'll go down here instead. Do I jump in that water? I think I jump in that water at some point and die. Yeah, pro tip kids, jumping in fast flowing water is bad for your health. Especially in a game where you're not supposed to be able to go over there. 
is kind of like the modern equivalent of the invisible walls. Invisible walls. Walls. Invisible walls. Dun 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 dun. Walls, 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 walls. Dun 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 dun. Walls, 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 walls. Uh, yeah. Um. No idea. For those who don't know, um, there's a brand of sausages in the UK called Wolves. As they had an advert with a dog, and a butcher or something, or a father or something, and they, he's, he's there with the dog. He's like, "Say sausages," and does like, "Wolves." He says, "Say sausages, Wolves, sausages, Wolves." <laughs> you know, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Oh. I uh, just never mind. I I don't even know where this is coming from now. I just I seriously don't know. So I'm just gonna stop there and say, whoa. <sighs> Right. What's going on then? What am I doing now? I'm actually gonna go and no, I'm doing more exploring. Of course I'm doing more exploring. Why wouldn't I? Because bacon. I I say it's to do with bacon. Yeah. It's true. It's always true. So I did a lot of exploration in this area. Because there's a lot to explore. See, now you can make it. There you go. Then again, you could have just climbed up there. Because how did how did that break? Seriously? How? What broke it? Huh? Because uh, that makes sense. I mean, what? See, this is that's the kind of thing that breaks a game for me. It's just, Little things like that, they, they, they break the, the, sense, the, the feeling of immersion. It's a word you hear a lot these days in video games, and that's one of the things that breaks it. It's what broke the, the piece of metal? I mean, it was there one minute, then it's not the next? I could understand the thing of not being able to go across there until you've spoken to them, but then why did they need to get rid of the piece of metal? If they really wanted to do that, why, why not have it so that you jump up on the other side and then you kick it down? That would have made a lot more sense. Anyway, we're going over here now to um, get the the pulley system. I'm not sure. Amazing. Mm. Portuguese. Looks to be early 18th century. I'm not sure how she'd be managed to get all the rope and stuff back. I mean, to set up a full pulley system, she's going to have to carry a whole hell of a lot of kit. She must have very large pockets. I maybe she's putting them in somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like they got guns. I don't know. Dead for hours. We're cut off, brother. What the hell are we gonna do? God damn it. Shut up for a second. Oops. Let me think. Something's going on. You saw the smoke coming from the mountain. Yeah, but that could mean anything. It means fire, it usually. Wait, you think that's a good idea? Maybe we should just wait here for the next ship. Yeah, we'll be waiting a long goddamn time. Something's wrong, brother. Oh, he's ready. getting scared. So obviously that whole being trapped down there and being left to, you know, harden you up and stuff, obviously it doesn't work as well as they think it does, does it? Hmm, no, it's not perfect. Yeah, why didn't I break that whilst I was waiting? Surely that would have made more sense. Could have done that whilst they were having their gin leg. No, um, I suppose I was too busy worrying that maybe it'd break and stuff. So now I'm deciding to go. Yeah, let's shoot them all in the face. Shoot them in the face. Shoot them in the face. If I can find them, of course. Um, wait, is that a dude? Yeah, there's the dude. Go on, get him. Dude. Didn't I get the silencer? 
Apparently not. Huh. I thought I had the silencer by this point. Wait, wait. I do, but I have to equip it? I have to manually select it? Something like that? Oh, the dude fell into the water. Oh well, anyway, that's the end of this recording. It'll be co coming to close in a few seconds, so until next time, I'm just going to say thank you for watching.